Hi Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what will happen the next time you see each other. It's going to be a general read, guys. Please keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video. Okay, so this is someone whom I feel like maybe, um, okay, this person maybe has been a little bit emotionally withdrawn or distant. This is someone who, you know, you might have been separated from this individual or you feel a little disconnected from them. They've kind of withdrawn or distanced themselves away from you, maybe physically, emotionally, mentally. Uh, I feel like the next time you see them, there's going to be um, it, like a mix of emotions, okay? Because I feel like you're coming off the heels of a separation, a disconnection, some sort of awkward or uncomfortable situation. I don't know if it's you that's turned your back away on this person, or I don't know if it's them, you know, that's turned your back away on you and hurt the relationship and, you know, tried to walk away. Um, they may have treated you like an option when all along you were the priority. Uh, this person may have said or done things, whether intentionally or unintentionally here, that may have, you know, caused you a lot of pain, a lot of hurt, humiliation, disrespect. It may also have resurfaced, okay, pushed some emotional buttons on your end and resurfaced some uh, trauma, okay, or some past memories which have left you feeling um, a little uncomfortable, um, a little, you know, uh, sad or a little emotionally distraught or disappointed so the next time you see them I feel like the both of you are trying to work through things but there is going to be this uh, this just this mixed uh, a lot of emotions expect it's an emotionally scattered energy the seven of cups um, and I feel like for some of you you're trying to work through things but it's important that the both of you are in that same energy where you're both willing to you know work through some things here you're both willing to fix something here you're both willing to address and untangle some of the knots on uh, some of these issues or these um, this emotional issues as well that we're seeing. You know, justice is justice has appeared here because it's like someone he wants to right their wrong or someone here uh, wants to apologize. Okay, someone he wants to. Um, they feel like they owe you an apology or they feel like they owe you an explanation or you're the one who's expecting an apology. You're the one who's expecting an, uh, an explanation of some sort. I feel like emotions are going to be quite, emotions are going to be quite high and I feel like with their energy, I feel like they're a little distracted. I don't know why. I don't see your person being focused. I don't see your person being, I don't know that they're coming in with the right intentions, like, and I don't know that they're communicating with intention as well. I just feel like they're a little distracted. They're a little in their head. Um, they're not very present is what I'm seeing. I'm also seeing that they're a little, you know, there's some sort of, it's like a sadness to their energy. I don't know if it's because they've been hurt by these recent events that have transpired and unfolded between the two of you. I don't know if it's because they're, they're going through some things personally, but it just feels like your person here is just, they're not all with it and they're a little bit all over the place. They're emotionally, you know, they're, they're not really here. I mean, they're there, but they're not really there. Like they're in their head. Um, they're somewhere else. It's that kind of energy. I do see them wanting to fix things though. I just don't know that the next time you see this person you're going to get, you're going to achieve or achieve a lot of that or have any success with that. I just see that, you know, there is this energy of bringing justice to a situation, trying to make things right, trying to right a wrong, apologizing, apologizing explaining, you know, sorting through things. 
um, working towards a resolution, wanting to fix things. There is that energy which is good and someone here with the Ace of Pentacles, you know, um, them wanting to them wanting to turn over a leaf with you, okay, them wanting to start all over again. It's a fresh start, a fresh emotional start, it's a new beginning. You know, they're 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 a little bit more they're more serious this time. They're more serious, they're more committed, um, they want to be focused and you know they want something that's a little bit more stable and they want to they want to be that for you as well you know they want to offer you that security and stability that you want and that you deserve i just think that the next time you see your person like i see them opening up to you emotionally and i feel like there's some things from the past here that hurt them and it's some sort of emotional wound which festers and has not been healed and as a result uh that emotional wound that unhealed emotional wound manifests itself in self-sabotaging emotional or behavioral patterns okay this is why they do what they do okay this is why you know they may hurt themselves or they may hurt the relationship by you know indulging in self-sabotaging patterns of behavior um, again whether intentionally or unintentionally it could be like habitually and they might not be at all aware of it i do feel like you know they want at the end of the day, they want uh, a secure relationship. They want to feel safety, security, and stability in a relationship. I don't know if they've had a lot of that growing up, so they're really struggling to, um, they're really struggling to understand how to go about that, right? I'm also seeing that they're a little stubborn. Okay, so there may be a little bit of ego involved in the situation as well. So if they owe you an apology and they haven't apologized, maybe they have a tendency to not always admit to themselves or to you when they are wrong, right? They try and, you know, they just they struggle doing that. Even even if they're wrong, they don't like admitting it. They don't like admitting that. It's a pride. It's an ego thing. Um, I'm seeing an avoidant attachment style with this person as well. So um, people of that nature, they may become uncomfortable with intimacy, emotional intimacy, closeness. Um, they, they are someone who is extremely independent and very self, you know, self-focused and self-directed. And they could be, they, this person may have commitment issues. Okay. Um, we have emotional intimacy issues and they you know they're experts at rationalizing their way out of commitment and out of a relationship um, they often complain okay and i feel like you'll notice these little signs with you know you'll notice these little um behaviors with the person they often complain that they're feeling suffocated or things are moving too fast or they're feeling crowded or overwhelmed you know when someone tries to get close to them so and I'm not saying that you know they can't find love or connection but it's just that little bit harder or it just it takes a partner who really understands what they need okay but these the, these people with this type of attachment style are less likely to fall in love and they don't necessarily seem to believe in a happily ever after just because you know they've experienced um they've experienced certain emotional experiences in life or situations that have led them to uh avoid seeking intimacy or display of emotions that way they can come across as a little bit cold and distant so they tend to be less likely less likely to be involved in relationships so there's also that on the cards that we're seeing here um, but otherwise i do feel like you know they want relationship and they want security and they want stability especially because they haven't had a lot of that growing up but they just they feel like that's something that's so familiar and that this is something that they even though they wanted that without realizing it, it's something that they've been avoiding for such a long time so i feel like there is patterns of behavior okay that we see in this individual and that we see play out in this situation and um i just feel like it's important to it's the next time we see each other i feel like it's important to get to understand 
or to know each other a little bit better or to at least you know understand these patterns of behavior and where it's coming from right um okay guys and these are your messages thank you so much for watching and listening please show your support by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel bye